Prepare for a mind-blowing episode showcasing the astonishing lows that Karen's and Kevin's can reach. Up first, Kevin goes on a rant because he gets his sandwich wrong. <laughs> it's funny how unbothered these employees are. They just threw my sh around. My man here, they, they wouldn't give me nobody's phone number, the manager's phone name, the manager wouldn't give me her name. I don't know where they at. Poor customer service. I'm about to spend close to 80 bucks in here. And the manager walked away. Now I'm trying to figure out her name. So when I talk to corporate, we're going to let corporate know. So you're just not going to just throw my sandwich together and then refuse to make it over. She said she couldn't. She wasn't going to make it over. That's what she said. And then my man here, he started to talk to me kind of rationally. And then she told him to stop talking. And then he stopped talking too. But I'm going to make sure that corporate knows what's going on. Customer service is so bad, even my man that rang my order up, which I didn't buy, he said I apologize for the customer service. Even he know it was bad customer service. But all they face is going to corporate. So they're going to let the manager... Fool him out of a job. Oh, no, I ain't record you at all, boss. I ain't record you. But if you in this store, what's in this store is getting recorded. Hey, 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 boss, I got you. But you could have told your manager the same way to show some customer service. I mean, hey, hey, you know what? And I understand. And I can appreciate you for being respectful. I can appreciate my man. Just wiping the grill for being respectful. At least he tried to talk to me. Raul is the leadership in your restaurant, man. But corporate gonna know about this. Corporate will learn about this, Raul. Bouncer disrespects this random guy by throwing his wet towel on his face over an argument. Shame on you, dude. I'm out. Just come here and touch yeah, me here. and see what's gonna happen. Come here. And come here and what's gonna happen. Ah. Come here and see what's gonna happen. Ah. Oh, you're gonna, you're just gonna do anything. Ah. 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 Oh my god. You did what? Ah. Your bed? Ah. You did your bed? You did your bed? Ah. This Karen is extremely rude and plays the race card to act like a victim. Spread this video to every store so they can be warned of her. Places! Get the f out of my country! What the f is wrong? This what the f I voted for? This what the f my people fought for? Excuse me, what happened to you? No, f all of that! F all of that! This what the f my people fought for? For y'all mother to come over here and make trouble? That's all y'all What a mannerless narcissist she is.
here. Go somewhere else at me. You stupid. Entitled Kevin wants his order to be served right before everyone. <laughs> Are you the president who has a country to handle? Ridiculous. But I'm just saying, saying I would okay, I have the dessert before that. See, you, know, you don't know that. I just ordered the first coffee. I see that. No. And I also have your sandwich receipt. Yeah. So your cookie's done because that was right okay, there. Okay, give me my cookie. Yeah. I don't need to order one at a time anymore because it's simple that way for me. I have to order for others, right. not just me. Right. I'm out of the church, okay? I haven't been. 61 years. I want to know from now on who you're dealing with. I've offered I'm you money. With the yelling but I'm just saying, I offered you, you your manager, $100 when you wasn't here. Okay. Okay. That's not what I, okay. I didn't know if they told okay. you that. They're telling you things that I didn't even know that you didn't even know about. Someone told me that you're the manager. Okay? What can I do? I didn't deal with being a manager. Angry driver doesn't like bikers and curses them out of the blue. <laughs> what a disaster you are, Kevin. What's the point of us spending this money if you're not going to use it, you Hey, pull over so I can have a chat. F*** off. Here's the bike track, you dumb Trains are entertainment. Look at these two Kevins trying their best to put on a show. Carry on, buddies. I will not. Mind your business. Mind your business. I want my kids looking at you. Go brush your teeth. Go fuck your mother. Go sweet your ass. Go sweet your ass. You're nothing but entertainment to everyone. We sourced out this Kevin. He turns into a gorilla with his anger. Airports are always full of drama. No! I know what he did! Give me that! 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 Give me 
Have you ever encountered a Kevin that you actually love to listen to? <laughs> Absolutely not. That's why we sourced this out for you. I'm going to be leaving. Can you move your thing off of my property so I can move my car? you got plenty of room over there. you got 50 feet. You're on my property. Can you please move it so I can You're back my car property. out? You're on my property. You're on my property. I'm gonna it's right you. there. You're on it now. Half You're of on your my car. property. Now I'm no, going to have is, you arrested this for is a pro You're going to have me pro I'm, Yeah. Yeah? Sure. Why not? Can you please move your car so I can I can get out of here? Did you say please? Yeah. Oh, sure. I'll be glad to. Thank Mr. you. Mr. Paul, this. Mr. Thank you, Mr. Leeds. <laughs> you better call me Mr. Leeds. You'll be calling me sir next. Okay. Sir. All right, sir. Sir is the word. Did you say sir? No. Why not? And that thing don't belong to you. It don't belong here. Get it out of here. What doesn't belong to me? That don't. This belongs to me. Well, get it the f out of here. You're blocking on my side so I can't get to the lake. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're saying this dock on my property is blocking your... All the f***ing and all removed. Okay. All your f***ing you got around here. Okay. That ain't worth it. Neither are you. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you want to talk about, Mr. Balls? <laughs> Thanks for the laugh, Bob. It was good talking to you today. It was. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, I it's great, talking, man. I love talking to you. <laughs> you are a great. <laughs> move that <laughs> thing out of the way so I can come down here. Yeah, I wouldn't have to ride over there. You know? Too bad. I gotta ride here. <laughs> it's way more. Whoa, wait a minute. You don't have to ride on my property, Bob. I'm gonna. You shouldn't. He's angry and not angry at the same time. He might be a headache for his neighbors, but he's really amusing in that anger. I'm gonna. You were supposed to remove these stones that's in here from the town. No, I wasn't. Yes, you was. I did not have to remove the stones. Yeah, that's what they said. They did me. not say it. Put a stink up, Bob. They said they said I didn't have to remove them. Yeah, they did. No, I didn't. It was two. They said at the same time you had a big pile of shit here. Huh? That was years ago. I know. You went here too long before I started serving. <laughs> You are the biggest <laughs> I ever met. I know. You're a prick too. Oh yeah. Why don't you take the camera and stuff it up? You think that bothers me? I don't know. I don't know if it bothers you or not. Yeah. Well, it's a little younger. I tell you what would bother you. But I'm, I nicely asked you to get off my property and you're instigating me. So I'm sure. Oh, am I? Come on over and do something. I'm about sure. It. I'm sure if I show the police this or the or the judge in our in our court case, he help come down and tell you to move all. Off of my property yeah. that I'm paying taxes on? That don't mean nothing. That pile of has got to go to. Uh-huh. It does? Yeah. Really? You okay. Are... How, how I know. old are you anyway? Huh? How old are you? What's it to you? Because I didn't know they piled that much that <laughs> high. <laughs> well, you're taller than me, Bob, so they must pile it that high. Taller. You're not you're what they call a, a small man syndrome. Yeah. A little <laughs> punk. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Uh, <laughs> having him as a neighbor would definitely be the spice to life. Oh, yeah, you're right, man. You bet you're, you're right. Man. That's right. Yeah, you can take that counter yeah. and stuff it up your ass. Okay. See, now you only have to get me to use this more and more and more, so I will. Yeah. Well, now I'm going to be putting up a farm gate and I'm putting the I fence want down. You to put up, and I'll, you're supposed to cut the driveway, too. When are you going to do that? Uh, I will. Once, maybe once our case is over. We'll see. Uh, your case is. Actually, Bob, you know what? You, the meaner you are to me, the smaller I'm going to make your entryway. I believe I only have to give you 15 feet access. Well, go ahead and do it. So we'll find out. Go ahead. I don't care. You think that bothers me? Yeah, I think it does bother you. If you got 15 feet access in your driveway, yeah, it's going to bother you. No, it ain't. It's not? No, it ain't. I'll knock it down. Oh, you, you will? Yeah. Yeah? And then you then you get arrested, though. For what? I can't help it. It was in my driveway. I ran over. It ain't my fault. Okay. I almost hit that fence the other night coming in because I didn't. Yeah, that's why I left it nice and orange so you can see, so it's yeah. very visible. I love that color too. You yeah, nice it's job. great. It's good for the fall, you know. It goes with the leaves. Yeah, it blends in with the edcore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Bob, box you live Bob, right I'm gonna be leaving. Can you please move your, move yeah, your? Sure, uh... Buddy, whatever you say, Mister Ball. <laughs> okay, great. Good talking to you. Yeah, nice, nice chatting. Talking to you too. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
it's your right not to show receipts. This lady is harassing this person to show his receipt for some Pringles and water that he's just bought. All right, so obviously I can't leave Walmart without showing a receipt for my case of water and my little Pringles can right here. Uh, two associates right here. So, um, what, what law is that? that? That I have to show a receipt. It's, it's our job. If it's not in a bag, then we have to see a receipt. Okay, so, so am I breaking the law by not showing you my receipt? Are you impeding my movement to freely go? Are you violating my constitutional rights right now? Over a damn receipt? I worked here 15 years. I don't care how long you work here. I had to show my receipt. Well, I mean, that, that's your choice. What, what, what problem do you have with showing your receipt? Well, I mean, could, are you suspecting me of stealing this? Well, I don't know whether you paid for that or not. Well, you can go check the cameras. I cannot go check the cameras. Well, then you can call your loss prevention or you can call the code 10 up here. How dumb. She spent all those years in there working and doesn't know how to behave. I don't like being criminalized at all. Well, we have to check everyone's receipt. That's That's her job. That's crap. She, That's crap. Because then you'll have to have an ID to buy milk, and I'm not okay with that. The America I live in, we're innocent until proven guilty. So am I free to go? Yeah, I don't know what's going on anyway. I mean, she wanted my receipt for, for my case of water and my chips, so they just paid for it to self-checkout. I was just standing there looking right at me. You know, there, there, there's a reason why I do it, okay? Because soon we'll have to have we'll have to prove that we're not guilty of being a thief or anything without any kind of evidence. You know. I don't like asking for a receipt as much as people like giving me a receipt. So. Well, I definitely thank you. Yeah, you too. Karen interrupts this comedian with curse words and gets humbled by him. Don't go to their show if you can't take the jokes, Karens. Oh, no, I'm getting old. I'm 26 now, right? I, I was recently... Oh, sorry? Are you 26? <laughs> you're from New Jersey. That explains that you're American. <laughs> This moment, it's about me. <laughs> and then someone tells you to shut up, you're like, that is my right, okay? I can say what I got there. <laughs> I know you're not something, but it's funny. Right? <laughs> Why did you say fuck up? Oh, right, because I said I'm 26. Right. I read. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> so that's the thing where, like, you open a book and you're like, so America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, I was just about to go there and now I'm so glad I did it. Oh, God, thank you so much. Yeah, you're like a six year old in America. You just took that bullet for me, Jen. Now this is something really enjoyable. This Karen tries to stop this live streamer in the middle of the road and gets roasted. Get off the road, you Get off the freaking road, you Get off the road, you dummy! What the hell are you doing standing in the goddamn road? Get off the road. Get off of the road, you You're blocking my vehicle! Get the off the road come on lady what are you doing this is crazy get off the road you get off the road what are you doing from my vehicle what are you goddamn doing from my vehicle <laughs> you get off the road you crazy old lady you get off the road get off the road look they're telling you to get off the road 
Listen to your cult leader. Listen to your cult leader. Get off the road. You're the member of a cult. You're brainwashed. You're living in a rundown school. You're giving away all your money to a Filipino scam artist. You're standing in the middle of the road with your sandals on, lady. You're trying to block a goddamn truck with your stupid ass ideas. And it ain't working because you're in a cult, lady. You're in a cult. See you. <laughs> you guys are crazy. They nuts, man. Send an old lady out on the road like that. Y'all are wild. You got people brainwashed. Walking out in the street, trying to get in front of people's cars. That's crazy. Y'all are crazy with it. Wild ass Nasty Karen uses a baby to scam people in the store. Come on, lady. Presenting you this self-proclaimed heiress of billion dollars dressed up as a beggar. She's losing her grandiosity in front of these strangers. Stone Mountain, Georgia. It's worth, worth a billion dollars. That's what a f be. So you can shove this all up your granite money. You. God bless America. Yeah. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands. One you nation. You didn't know you were going to be God. entertained so much. Well. This is my favorite call so like, take your, it's like take, take your time. Yeah. <laughs> God bless America. Land that I love, stand beside her and guide her from the left of the flight, from above, from the mountains. See, I live there to the prairies, from the ocean, white with foam. Just came out of Charleston. God bless America, my home. There's nothing more funny than these guys. Oh, sweet home. God it's bless beautiful. America, my home. The Super Bowl <laughs> needs to rethink who they're going to do there. Honestly. Are we having this fun is today? Ha <laughs> ha. You ever been to Mount Rushmore? No, ignoramus. You ever been to Sturgis? No, ignoramus. You ever been on the tail of the dragon? No, ignoramus. <laughs> and I got a lot of Harley friends. They're going to kick you sideways along with every American trucker. You guys are getting a good tip from me. Come and see me when we're done with this. You come back to my house another day and I'm taking care of you guys for laughing your ass. Giving you both a hundred dollars just for laughing your ass off today. And believe me when I tell you, a billion dollars is for a hundred bucks. So you shove your white Mercedes or whatever that is, BMW, and AAA right up your ass. What are pay them a sign that thieves anyway? <laughs> 17 years I never paid you know what? Right, hunters, did, hunters towing came and rescued my ass. And I gave that guy $200 and a $50 tip. And he dropped me off at Southern Spirits. Taking my dog. After I spent four hours out on the hot, hot heat. Dying because my radiator exploded. Oh, that's right. I went from Goodyear down to CVS to pick up my drugs. And the witch doctor wants me on that. It's like acid. I'm driving around. I can't 
see the light. She's going to continue ranting for the rest of her life because the dollars in her head are uncountable. By the day, I'm a danger to society. But did I mention I have a South Carolina property and casualty insurance license? My fingerprints are on file with the FBI as of May. Did I mention that? Did I tell you I worked in I the guess bank? that kind of helps my did case. Did I tell you <laughs> that I know everything about pharmaceuticals? <laughs> yeah, building the case. It's not surprising. <laughs> it's hilarious. What case do you have? Bring it on. Tell me what you got. You want to play with me? You're playing with the wrong bitch. I got you checkmated already. I'm the queen. And you're a <laughs> Have a nice day. God bless America. Blow it right out your That song will put a boot in your It's the American way. Well, guess what? Hilarious. This will be the best thing you've ever watched. I'm not going to do that, but the world is going to put their boot right up your and send you sailing because the shit hit in the fan the end of the month. You see how much water I got back there? You see my stockpile of boogie bags? Go f yourself. You're going to die anyway. You're too stupid to survive. So f you and your eyebrows. That's what <laughs> bad, breaking bad. Up your hmm. It's going to be so fun because I got it all documented and I already called Newsmax. Damn. <laughs> That battery's under here, but too. Is My the battery under there? It's under here. It is under there? Mm -hmm. He's the caddy for the golf links with the king of Prussia. <clears throat> and when I was 14, I said, when he runs for office, uh, he's got my dollar. And you know what? He's been texting me all week. She'd come back any time she remembers the pieces of her speech to be delivered. Because I know him. So f*** them. I'll be in Mar-a-Lago in a ball gown, and you can shove it right up your f***ing you twisted Oh, that's right, you're too stupid. You're just mad. Boxing friend. Hello. I can't get it out, though. Sit back at home and enjoy your wealth, Karen. I bought out the warehouse. They gave me a corporate account. Mm -hmm. USA, I gotta go change it to God bless America. So Hold it to it. Right <laughs> you have it on video. You have some socks this winter. Maybe you make a <laughs> dumbass. Put a couple in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Say I'm proud again. Alright. Come on, we're not getting it. 